हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड बैटल आई एम दिव्या एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट यू अगल पैसेज ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड वर्ड्स एट द स्पीड ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वर्ड्स पर मिनट विद फ्लक्चुएशन सो बी रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन थ्री टू वन गो द रिविजनिस्ट इज वन ऑफ द डिफेंडेंट्स इन ओरिजिनल सूट नंबर थ्री फिफ्टी टू ऑफ टू थाउजेंड सिक्स The suit was instituted by the plaintiff opposite party for mandatory injunction. The defendants in the said suit moved an application 69 ga before the trial court pointing out that a matter arising out of original suit number 721 of 2005 is pending before this honorable court in which validity of will dated 27 3 1985 on the basis of which the plaintiff claims title to the suit property is an issue under consideration it was further pointed out that by an order dated 13 11 the instant suit was clubbed with original suit number 721 of 2005 and the said suit was made the leading case consequently it was prayed that since the leading case is pending before this court and therefore proceedings of original suit number 352 of 2006 be stayed the application was opposed by the plaintiff stating that there was no stay by any court to the proceedings of the instant suit the trial court by an order dated 11 5 rejected the application agreed thereby some of the defendants preferred application under article 227 number 3830 of 2015 before this court the petition was dismissed by order dated 188 2015 by noting that the defendants themselves admit that original suit number 721 of 2005 stood dismissed and as such the application filed by them on the ground that the proceedings of the instant suit are to be stayed during the pendency of the original suit number 721 of 2005 was a misconceived one however liberty was reserved in favor of the defendants to move a separate application raising plea of section 10 cpc in case they are so advised in pursuance of the liberty so granted the defendants filed an application 73 g before the trial court for framing an issue relating to the applicability of section 10 cpc the trial court after taking into consideration the objections filed by the plaintiff rejected the said application in the order it is noted that original suit number 721 of 2005 was rejected as the plaintiff did not pay the requisite court fee the trial court further noted that no evidence has been filed by the defendants to demonstrate that the said suit or any appeal arising out of order dismissing the said suit is pending before any court of law consequently it came to the conclusion that section 10 cpc will have no application and rejected the application the aforesaid order was not challenged by the defendants instead they filed another application Eighty ga for recalling the order dated twenty four nine two thousand fifteen and for taking fresh decision in accordance with the directions issued by this court on eighteen eight two thousand fifteen. The trial court has rejected the said application by order dated two twelve two thousand fifteen, holding that no case for recall of the order dated twenty four nine two thousand fifteen. is made out and in the case the defendant was aggrieved by the said order the same should have been challenged before the higher court aggrieved by the order dated 2 12 2015 revision has been filed under section 115 cpc learned counsel for the revisionist submitted that the trial court has failed to comply with the directions of this court dated 188 2015 in not framing an issue relating to applicability of section 10 cpc it is urged that in such circumstances the revisionist was justified in filing the application 80 ga for recall of the order dated 24 9 2015 he further submitted that 
an appeal against the order rejecting the plaint for non payment of court fee is pending before this court and thus section 10 cpc will have full applicability in the matter under section 10 cpc no court could proceed with the trial of any suit in which the matter in issue is also directly or substantially in issue in a previously instituted suit between the same parties thus for application of section 10 cpc it is necessary that there has to be a duly instituted previous suit between the same parties in which the issue is directly or substantially the same in the instant matter admittedly as per the assertions made in paragraph 13 of the affidavit the plaint of original suit number 721 of 2005 was rejected on the ground of non-payment of court fees in para 14 it is stated that first appeal number 330 of 2008 is pending before this court stop